Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. Let's read it, and then let's think about it. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Now here's a powerful, powerful line for us to think about. Notice what we have. The first thing he says, look, I'm not claiming that I've arrived. I'm not claiming that I've reached uh, some state of perfection, but I am growing. I am coming toward Jesus with, with every piece of might that I can get from him. I'm coming towards him. I've not already perfected. I've not already attained. I, I have not won the race. This thing isn't over. I, I want to come closer to Jesus. You know, I'm not what I used to be, but I'm not what I'm going to be. But man, I'm on the way. Praise God. He says, I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus also has laid hold of me. Why did Christ Jesus lay hold of me and you? Does he have like a list of things? We're just supposed to do those things and set us up in front of the universe and say, look, here's somebody that can, can follow a list. Is that what's going on? We want to become more like Jesus. We want to be more like him in character. And sure, we'll be obedient, but obedience isn't going to be the main thing. The main thing is, is pursuing the likeness of Jesus. Does that make sense? And what we have here is one thing I do, but one thing I do. He, he's, he's adamant. He is going forward. Paul's going forward. He's got a clear, singular focus. He's coming toward Jesus, and that's what he's bent on. Some of us, you know, we maybe get off track. We see a teaching that makes a lot of beautiful sense. You know, here's a doctrine that makes wonderful sense. Without Jesus, what's that worth, Fred? But with Jesus, it's worth a lot. So we, we love the doctrines. We, we're thankful for the teachings of Scripture. We're thankful for the order that God has put in his universe. But the goal is to draw close to and become more like Jesus. And let's not ever kind of get mixed up about that. There's but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. So the Christian life, this is kind of a description of the Christian life, isn't it? Forgetting those things that are behind, reaching forward to the things that are ahead of me. So yes, we've made mistakes in the past. We've sinned. We've, we've had to go back many times to the foot of the cross and return to Jesus. But you know what? He wants us to reach forward, reach forward. What does he call it? I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. There's where we're going, friends. We want to be pressing toward the call, that call, the upward call. It's not a neutral call. It's an upward call of God, and it's in Christ Jesus. If you're, if you're pursuing any goal that doesn't have Christ Jesus there, that's an upward call. It's not, it's not the gospel. But here we see we're turning toward Jesus. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be more like Jesus. We want to press toward that goal. Yes, we've made many mistakes, but we want to go forward, Lord. So please, Lord, be our guide, be our helper. Lead us on and bring us into the right place. Help us, Lord, to pursue perfection, but that word can be a problem for some people. Lord, we just want to become more like Jesus. And so guide us in that, Lord. Help our hearts to be right. Help us not to become puffed up in any way or to lose sight of Jesus there at the middle of all this. That's what the Bible's about. Thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're Christians. We're following the Bible. God's given us present truth, and he's taking us to a place where we'll stop sinning. It's all good, but without Jesus, it's nothing. With Jesus, we're good to go. You have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.